Malta has been long known for its culinary delights, but now it's official. In 2020, three restaurants were awarded a Michelin star. Three more got the Bib Gourmand, which distinguishes good value for good quality. One of the Michelin stars went to Noni, in the centre of Malta's capital, Valletta, which serves traditional cuisine with a modern twist. It was named after the founder, Jonathan Brinkert, who is also the chef. He's been cooking for 20 years. I think here rabbit is done mostly, first of all, because of the subtle flavours. Secondly, because it's very nutritious, it's not very fatty, you have very lean meat. And mostly, I think, because the population are grown up eating rabbit. Rabbit is one of the many dishes that can be ordered a la carte, but there's also an eight-course menu for the very hungry. The rabbit is served with a traditional street food called pastizzi. There's also malafanti tahine, a dish that combines pasta with octopus ragu, which goes back 500 years. And there's a combined dessert of lemon mousse, black tea and cream. I think the Mediterranean cuisine is one of the best cuisine, especially because of the ingredients. You don't need to play a lot with the ingredients, the smells, especially if you come in summer and you smell a tomato and the basil, if you eat them just by themselves, it's already a bomb of, of flavour. This is the philosophy too at Commando in the town of Melija, some 20 kilometres away in northern Malta. The restaurant serves fresh and mostly regional produce and was awarded a Bib Gourmand last year for its extremely high quality at an affordable price. Head chef Damien Chiapara has owned the family-run restaurant since 2012. We are influenced by a lot of cuisines. Um, our culture it comes a lot of people like from Arabic, Italian, English, French. And that's when the inspirations for the final dishes come from. A typical starter might be a tomato and onion jam served with a local sheep cheese and a walnut vinaigrette. The main course could be pork belly served with cauliflower and mushrooms as well as Malta's take on sausage filled cannelloni. This rolled dessert made with dates, anise liqueur and rose water is called imaret. When it comes to Maltese cuisine, using uh, recipes like, for example, the basic um, imaret, which is a very classic Maltese pastry, we found ways how to do new pastry, how to do, refine the filling and how to do it as a restaurant dish. No foodie should leave Malta's capital, Valletta, without visiting the food market. A gourmet will find a variety of dishes here from all over the world, as well as traditional Maltese cuisine. That's what Jonathan Gatt serves in his bistro, Teftif. Well, teftif uh, is a combination of uh, Mediterranean flavours. We started by uh, sweating an onion, uh, garlic and thyme, uh, carrots, and then uh, we added the, uh, the octopus, um, there is olives and capers. This octopus stew is served by stuffing a local sourdough bread loaf. The fetira is filled with tuna, onions, capers, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, herbs and olive oil. The food that we serve at Teftif, it's like uh, my mom used to do and uh, the grand my grandmother as well. So uh, whatever we do is uh, from the heart. For lovers of the Italian cuisine, there's lots to be found here. Like these Maltese ricotta ravioli in a tomato and basil sauce. Malta's cuisine has many facets, but whatever you'll try, it's bound to be delicious. <laughs>